Newcastle today by one of the stars of the much-loved film Born Free. Virginia McKenna, who's co-founder of the charity the same name, opened the display in Exhibition Park as part of a year-long campaign to highlight the threats to lions in Africa, where the population has, been, has crashed by half in 20 years. Damon O'Neill reports. These 25 life-size lions, made by Australian artists Gillian Mark, have been on display in London, but are now here in the North East because of a little known local connection with the founders of the Born Free charity. Now there are too many of these to go over individually, but there are three I'd like to point out. These two here, first of all, are representations of George and Joy Adamson, who were the real life characters in the film Born Free, which was about their efforts to rehabilitate this orphan lion, Elsa, and return her to the wild. And finally, these two lions here, these are representations of Virginia and Bill, who are, of course, the stars of the film. We're here in Newcastle, my son and I, because this is where my late husband, Bill Travers, was born and came from. And so it was absolutely, well, it wasn't even a question. We had to come to Newcastle because he's the one, really, that gave birth to all this story, which continuing, thank goodness to the young people here, will continue into the distant future, I'm sure. And I think perhaps one of the reasons why Born Free, the film, is remembered so fondly by so many people is because it was made in those days when there was no computer-generated graphics, no doubles were used in it. So it told a love story, and that love story could only be told in a faithful and true way by having real people and real lions having a real relationship. The Foundation's youngest junior ambassador says their message is more urgent now than it was back then. Well, 100 years ago, there was 200,000 lions in the world. Now, but now it's went down 90% because now there's only 20,000 lions left. And if we don't stick up for them, who will? The display is in Newcastle until the end of June. Damien O'Neill, BBC Look North. I didn't realise the North East connection there. Yeah,